It's one thing for a market to be at a cycle high or an all-time high or signaling higher highs. It's another thing for the Kospi to go up 4% from there. How about Japan? It's, it's not as vertical, but it's uh, sufficient. Up another 2.4% overnight. Quad 2 wasn't changing. Commodity market didn't change. Currency market didn't change. All of Asia didn't change. Europe didn't change. That's what we knew. Now, we didn't know that the VIX, 100% chance it wasn't going to go above you know, trend and hold there. But we did go with that call. It's a huge risk to have sold in the first week of the year, given that it's global quad two. Selling the lows at Monday, that's a problem. Selling tech at its lows on, on Wednesday, a bigger problem. Now you're long gold, oh my God. Like you got a world of problems. That's called a drawdown, okay? That's called a full cycle drawdown. And I'm not making shit up when I show you the inverse of that, which is interest rates. Look at that, look at that. Now, I'll be damned if those two things aren't the inverse of each other. One thing has not changed, and that if you get the direction of the dollar and interest rates right, you get a lot of other things right. If you get a, a big move higher, which of course the jobs report is making it happen again, 109 on the 10-year yield, then you got the bond market right, you got gold right today, okay? This is the start to the year. It's still not too late. Is it gonna be a great day for you? If it's not, change what you did this week.